I found this clip. Now, the, um, Shiki has been in trouble with the law here and there. This is not uh, a stretch to, to imagine. So while he was in WWE, his attorney, Mickey Sherman, who's on this video, thinks it a very good idea during a promo day to, uh, to uh, allow, um, to, to take the microphone and ask Cosro's co-workers to come up and give a testimonial, to the, a video testimonial to the judge about why he should show leniency for the, it was a misdemeanor assault charge. Now, before we do this, can you think of a worse plan if you want to engender the trust of a judge than to ask professional wrestlers to step up and give serious testimonials? As Now, Kaz is great. Kaz does the poker face the whole time, standing upright like a proper gentleman. And in come, one by one, the cast of characters to address the judge. Let's, uh, let's get a clip of this here. Yeah, but you got, before you start off, this, yeah. the, the, I remember one time we were, we were going through someplace in Canada, and they had, um, they had just made like a seizure, and there was like some, some, some uh, cannabis and some, I don't know what the powder was. I'm, I'm, I, I, would, I would imagine it was kilo like packed powder. It was back in this room, and you could see it. Um, so, so let's, let's watch Mickey Sherman okay. get, get everybody up here to talk to the judge. There are some okay ones. Like I think Arnold Skolan does a good job. But uh, see that. Jesus so Christ, the rest. All right, we are, we are going to do... I need quiet, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation, and I need quiet, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special presentation. This is a presentation that is designed and geared to help benefit is, is the Irish his, Sheik in his is cause. Is that his attorney talking? No, no, that's Fink. Right, you may look anytime. That was Finkel. This I'm is the roll, attorney. This is Mickey Sherman right here. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and a two shot now. Thank you. One. Thank you very much. We're here today to talk about the Sheik. Uh, Your Honor, is well aware that the Sheik has been charged with assault in the third degree in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We've got some people here who know the Sheik, who work with the Sheik, and who think very well of him. Right now we have Freddie Blassie, his well-known manager. Freddie, now the Sheik, the Sheik has been now the judge the thinks that like some people from the judge, office are about to walk up. What's your opinion? Just a minute, you pencil neck geek, don't interrupt me. Judge Rockman, let me tell you right now, I've never met a more honorable man in my life than the Iron Sheik. The man's word is better than all the money in a bank. You know what I'm talking about? And listen, Judge, you pencil neck geek, you. I'm telling you the way it is. And Sherman says you're going to be running for office soon. Listen, I'll get out there and I'll vote for you 10, 15 times if necessary. But this is my man right here. And you better do right by him, you pencil neck geek. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Judgey, oh boy. <laughs> Keep quiet, Sherman. Thank you very much. Next we have Arnold Skull. Do they, do, do, I mean, do, do, does, does Blassie think it's it's like a work? What th these guys are so ensconced in their own fucking world. This is my point. Th th they are oh. so lost. And now Kaz is playing this perfectly. He's great. All right, Kaz let's see Skolan. Kaz, Kaz looks like it, it's it's the dude from Young Rock. Doesn't even, <laughs> he's not, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't even Kaz. I've never seen Kaz like this. This so calm, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a, you must be on Valium or something, right? <clears throat> All right, Arnold Skolan. How are you? Arnold, nice to see you. Nice seeing you. I've, well, I've wrestled with Sheik many a time, and uh, he was a tough man in that ring, but outside that ring, he's a real gentleman. A decent man? He's a decent man. And you don't think he's capable of committing the crimes that no, uh, he's been accused of? No, I don't believe it at all. No, I, I, I know if he was in a ring wrestling him, I could see him do something like that, but not outside that ring. He's a real gentleman outside Arnold, that ring. thank you very much for coming. Absolutely uh, fine. I think next we have Absolutely Bobby acceptable. the Brain Heenan. That's right. <clears throat> I've been acquainted with the Iron Sheik here, Cosgrove Vasari, for almost 15 years of a professional wrestling career. When he taught the Olympic team at the University of Minnesota, when he came over from Iran, when he started in professional wrestling, I know him from the beginning. No man has dedicated himself harder than this man in the sport of wrestling, Greco-Roman freestyle, professional wrestling. The man is a dedicated athlete. 
He travels day and night all over the United States, all over the world. He's always one of the busiest wrestlers in the world, and he has a language problem. He doesn't always understand things, and I think that he deserves a break. And everybody makes mistakes every now and then, and I just think he was a victim of circumstances. You, and you, th you think see, maybe Bobby would have been a great lawyer, right? Something to do with the incident? Well, of maybe course it was it a does. misunderstanding. That's what I would say. I know he has a lot of trouble with referees, has a lot of trouble with opponents, he has no trouble with judges, he has no trouble with Bobby DeBrain Heenan. So try to be a fair guy, give him a break. I think it's the fair thing to do, and if you do judge, I'll make sure 10, 15, 20 people vote for you. How about that, pal? Thank you very much. And of course, Lou Albano, oh, what else can you say? Judge! The only thing I can say is I know Cosgro or the Sheik for some 15 years. He has set a fine example, as rough and as tough as he is. He has gone with the youth. He showed people how to wrestle. He's a silver medalist in the Olympics. He's got it all together. In my book and in your book and the book of the people, this is a man that is a family man, has three children, has integrity, has decency, has honor. Yes, he's rough. Yes, he's tough. Yes, he's wild at times, but misunderstood. He does not speak the language. He does not understand the language. He can be misinterpreted. He can mispermeate it, Misubulated, but the man is one of a kind, often imitated. But now, judge, just a minute. I don't care about your election. I don't care what you're running for, because you ain't bothering me. But I'm going to tell you, with all honesty and decency and integrity, this man is one of a kind. I respect him as a human being. He wrestles rough. He wrestles tough. He's unbelievable. Never match. But he's a good, compassionate human being, a family man. Listen to me. Give him a Zoom on the abs. But God bless you. Thank you. But Sir, you dropped the rubber band on these stands. Strong? Yes, very strongly, because I know he's misunderstood and misinterpreted, and he's a good man. If he weren't good, I wouldn't stand after him. Thank you very much. And I'm the captain. You got it? <laughs> All right, I think I've made my point lastly, here. of course, oh. Mean Gene. No, well, Gene, Gene, Gene does a good much, job. Uh, Mr. Sherman, if I, if I may, I would like to uh, just expostulate momentarily on the <laughs> virtues of this very fine he's gentleman. Expostulate moment. Cosro Vasari is not a Sheikh Alahani or the Iron Sheik in his country. In 1968 in Mexico the City, I happened to be covering the games for NBC television, and it was at that time that I met this tremendous gentleman, of course, representing his country at that time. Later, as a matter of fact, I happened to be the best man in his wedding. He has a lovely family. He's married to a very attractive Scandinavian girl from up in Minnesota. Painter. Judge, this Painter guy is first photo. class all the way. Painter. Granted, he does have problems from time to time with the language, but certainly you can understand that. And Judge Rotman, I've always been a, a big proponent of yours in all of the things that you've been doing in this part of the country. And uh, hopefully you'll take this man into consideration when you have to put the gavel down and uh, close up shop. I thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the... just like... Great job, Gene. Yeah. Very good. So you get, what you got to do is you got to put Bobby and you got to cut the... <laughs> Those guys couldn't get out of their own way. They, they were so entrenched in their gimmick. Yes, I it's mean, unbelievable. It, that's why, like Matt, when like you know Matt Bourne's dad, he, so Matt was like, you know, these second generation guys. They must have looked at guys like me, like you should have never been broke in. Should not have been broken you in. Actually, you know, you came out of character once. Like, wow, sorry. That's a very memorable moment you had talking about Matt Bourne. I, I, I ran into, this is a true story, a pipe fitter today who was doing a job and saw me and said, uh, you're, the, you're the Kevin Ash podcast guy. Yes. And so he talked about you a little and he said his favorite moment of yours was when you, um, I'm going to get the quote wrong, but it was from our video when we showed you Matt Bourne saying that you should never have been broken in. And you, uh, I think you did a tally on the amount that of the items being worn and it, it was it was a worn Mets cap and, and a dirty sweater I think you went on to say so that that's out there is uh, the pipe fitter I met today's favorite uh, favorite moment